This video shows operation of three Roomba models. Out of the box, it's easy to get your Roomba ready to go in three easy steps. One, remove the bin and discard the protective insert. Two, turn it upside down and remove the battery pull tab. Three, set the clock and use the home base to charge Roomba overnight. Your Roomba is smart and can get around on its own, but needs a little help from you to begin. Prepare the room by clearing away clutter and loose cables. Roomba picks up dirt, hair and other dry debris. But the robot should not be used to pick up anything wet, such as spills or liquids. To manually start Roomba, press the clean button once to turn on the robot. You'll hear a beep and the clean button will light up. Press the clean button again to start the cleaning cycle. If Roomba is on the home base, press the clean button to start the cleaning cycle. If you want to momentarily stop Roomba while it's cleaning, press the clean button. To resume cleaning, press the clean button again. You just press the button and walk away. Roomba automatically cleans your floors until it finishes its cycle and returns to its home base to recharge. To turn off Roomba manually, press and hold the clean button until the lights turn off. Always recharge Roomba between cleaning cycles. To find out more about accessories such as virtual walls or virtual wall lighthouses, select the accessories link. Because Roomba is a robot, it cleans floors differently to how people would. For example, Roomba doesn't clean in straight lines. Instead, the robot intelligently navigates the room and uses alternating behaviours such as edge detection, wall following and dozens of other behaviours to clean the room. Roomba uses its robot intelligence to efficiently clean the whole floor under and around furniture and along walls. Roomba calculates the optimal cleaning path as it cleans and determines when to use its various cleaning behaviours. When concentrated dirt and debris is detected, the robot's blue dirt detect light comes on and Roomba begins cleaning using its persistent path behaviour, performing concentrated cleaning in the detected area. When using its wall following behaviour, Roomba navigates the perimeter of the room and cleans around furniture and other objects. Roomba's room crossing behaviour means the robot effectively cleans large open areas and ensures full cleaning coverage of the room. Roomba's powerful cleaning system efficiently cleans the whole floor, including those hard to reach areas under and around furniture and along walls. Roomba takes about 25 minutes to clean an average size room, but no longer than 60 minutes and will pass over the same area of the floor multiple times to ensure total coverage. For the most efficient cleaning, clear your floor of clutter and use a virtual wall or virtual wall lighthouse to confine Roomba to one room. Roomba features a patented three-stage cleaning system. First, the edge cleaning side brush grabs dirt, hair and debris along walls and in corners. Next, two counter-rotating brushes scoop up dirt, hair and debris. Finally, a powerful vacuum pulls it all into the bin and the filter traps dust and other fine particles. Roomba effectively cleans many types of floor surfaces, including carpet, hardwood, tile, vinyl and linoleum. The robot automatically adjusts its cleaning head as it transitions from one surface to the next. Roomba also uses a variety of sensors to detect and automatically avoid stairs 
and other drop-offs. Roomba doesn't get stuck on cords, carpet fringe or tassels. Roomba model numbers 760 and higher have the ability to perform scheduled cleaning. Set the current time if you haven't already. Roomba's clock can be viewed in a 12-hour, AM, PM or 24-hour format. To switch between the two views, press and hold clock for 3 seconds. 12H or 24H will appear. Press clock to toggle between 12 and 24. Press OK. Roomba's clock will switch back to the default 12-hour AM-PM format whenever Roomba's battery is disconnected or significantly low on power. To set the time, press clock, press hour until the desired hour lights, press minute until the desired minute appears, press OK. If you need to cancel, press clean and start again. Roomba beeps to indicate that the time has been set. Once the time is set, you can schedule Roomba to clean once a day, up to seven times per week. To set a cleaning schedule, press Schedule, press Day to set the first day you want, press Hour and then Minutes, which are in 15 minute increments, to set. Press OK. Repeat the sequence for each additional day you want to schedule the robot to clean. To cancel, press Clean and start again. Roomba beeps to indicate that the schedule has been set. To review Roomba's scheduled cleaning times, press Schedule, press Day to cycle through cleaning times, press Clean to exit. To change a cleaning schedule, press Schedule, Press Day to cycle to the day you wish to change. Press Hour or Minute to change the time. Press OK. Press Clean to exit. To delete a cleaning schedule, press Schedule. Press Day to cycle to the day you want to delete. Cycle through Hour until it displays four dashes. Press OK. Press Clean to exit. Roomba beeps to confirm that the schedule has been changed. Roomba cleans based on the mode you select. Roomba has three cleaning modes. In clean mode, Roomba automatically calculates the size of the room and adjusts its cleaning time appropriately. In spot mode, Roomba spirals about three feet, or one meter in diameter, and then goes back to where it started, intensely cleaning a localized area. All 700 series models include scheduled cleaning mode. This mode allows you to program a cleaning time in the future. When scheduled to clean, Roomba will occasionally flash its next cleaning time to remind you of its schedule. At the specified time, Roomba leaves its home base cleans and then returns to the home base to recharge when it's done. Roomba is compatible with two interchangeable cleaning bins. The AeroVac 2 bin should be used for everyday cleaning. The dual action counter-rotating brushes pick up debris while the vacuum sucks up the dirt and dust. The high capacity sweeper bin, an optional accessory, holds more debris than the vacuum cleaning bin. Use this bin for cleaning larger than usual amounts of dirt and dust and for picking up bigger pieces of dirt. The battery can be removed for storage or replacement. To remove the battery, flip Roomba over and loosen the two screws that hold the battery cover in place. Then remove the cover and battery. 
To replace the battery, insert the battery with the iRobot logo face up. Replace the bottom cover and secure it with the two screws. Roomba is powered by a rechargeable battery. The battery lasts for hundreds of cleaning cycles if cared for properly. When Roomba isn't being used, you should keep the robot plugged in so it will recharge between cleanings. You can charge the Roomba two ways, either by using the home base or with the power supply. Always recharge Roomba as soon as possible. Waiting several days to recharge Roomba can damage the battery. Roomba uses the battery icon to indicate that the robot is charging its battery. Different colours indicate the battery's status. For example, an amber pulsing light means Roomba is charging. Solid green indicates the battery is fully charged. A solid red light indicates that the battery is empty and needs to be recharged. You should fully charge Roomba's battery before each cleaning cycle. When fully charged, Roomba's battery will last for at least one complete cleaning cycle. If Roomba has been left off the power supply or home base for an extended period, it initiates a special charge cycle. This extensive charge refreshes Roomba's battery and extends the battery life. While charging, Roomba's battery indicator will pulse quickly. For best results, do not interrupt this refresh charge. If you're not going to use Roomba for an extended time period, remove the battery from the robot. Do not store the robot with the battery installed. The home base is a standard accessory for all 700 series Roomba models. Roomba returns to the home base at the end of a cleaning cycle and when its battery is running low. Position the home base on a hard, level surface in an area where Roomba has a clear path to return at the end of a cleaning cycle. Put the home base against a wall or other immovable object to prevent it from sliding when Roomba is docking. Do not put the home base within four feet, a little more than a metre, of a stairwell. Always keep the home base plugged in. The power light will blink to indicate that the home base is connected to the power source. When Roomba goes back to the home base, the power light will be solid to indicate that Roomba has successfully docked itself. When Roomba is charging, Roomba's battery icon pulses an amber colour. When it turns a solid green colour, Roomba is completely charged. If Roomba is unable to dock on its first attempt for any reason, it will try again until it docks successfully. Virtual walls create an invisible barrier that Roomba will not cross. This invisible barrier keeps Roomba in a particular room or area and prevents it from getting too close to off-limit areas and items on the floor. Virtual walls can be set to block an opening of up to seven feet long or about two meters. Note that the width of the virtual wall's beam increases as its length increases, creating a cone-shaped area that Roomba won't pass. There are two types of virtual walls, manual and auto-on. A manual virtual wall must be turned on manually at the beginning of the cleaning cycle. A manual virtual wall and its power light shut off after 135 minutes. When the batteries are low, the virtual wall power light blinks slowly to indicate that it needs new batteries. An auto-on virtual wall allows you even greater flexibility. When set to auto mode, the power light blinks periodically to indicate it's on. When the batteries are low, the light blinks twice periodically to indicate that it needs new batteries. When in auto mode, the battery should last about six months.
Virtual wall lighthouses work two ways. They can guide Roomba from room to room or confine Roomba to one room. They are powered by two C alkaline batteries and include a power light, mode selector and range selector. Virtual wall lighthouses turn on and off automatically when Roomba is turned on and off. A light on the top of the virtual wall lighthouse indicates that it is turned on. You can select from two modes, lighthouse mode or virtual wall mode. For lighthouse mode, set the selector switch to lighthouse and place the lighthouse with the iRobot logo facing forward in the doorway between two rooms. The virtual wall lighthouse helps Roomba navigate around your home, cleaning the room it starts in, then navigating to the next room to clean. When Roomba has finished cleaning, it uses the lighthouse to navigate back to the home base to recharge. When using lighthouse mode, do not manually move Roomba from room to room while it's cleaning. To confine Roomba to one area, use virtual wall mode. Set the mode selector switch to virtual wall and place the lighthouse in the center of a door frame. Now, the lighthouse creates an invisible barrier that Roomba won't cross. Note, don't put the lighthouses too close to each other, the home base or near furniture and other obstacles that could block the beams. Use the range selector button to block openings in three increments. From 0 to 3 feet, 0 to 1 meter, from 4 to 7 feet, about 2 meters, and greater than 7 feet, more than 2 meters. Note, the longer the range, the faster the battery drains. The lighthouse automatically turns itself off when Roomba turns itself off. The remote control is included with some 700 series Roombas. It can also be purchased as an accessory for all Roomba models. Please check with your dealer for details. Before using your remote control for the first time, install two AA batteries. These are not included and need to be purchased separately. The remote control lets you control Roomba's functions. You can use it to turn Roomba on and off and steer the robot around the room. For best results, make sure the remote control has a clear line of sight to Roomba. The remote control also lets you choose between spot and clean modes. In spot mode, Roomba spirals about three feet, about one meter in diameter, cleaning intensely in the area before it spirals back to where it started. In clean mode, Roomba automatically calculates the room size and adjusts its cleaning time appropriately. Pressing the bottom button docks the robot for all models. To keep Roomba running at peak performance, perform a few simple maintenance tasks regularly, including emptying the bin and cleaning the filter, brushes, front caster wheel, bin full sensors, and cliff sensors. Bin emptying and filter cleaning should be done after every cleaning cycle. To empty the bin, press the button and hold it down. Pull out the bin and empty it into the rubbish. Remove the filter and clean it. Filter should be replaced every two months. On model 770 and above, the bin full indicator will light up to let you know when the bin needs to be emptied. Inspect Roomba's brushes after every run. To clean them, remove the brush guard by lifting both yellow tabs. Then remove the brushes. Use the included cleaning tool to easily remove hair by pulling the tool over the brush. Also, be sure to clean the brush bearings. After cleaning, reassemble the brushes 
making sure the bearings are in place and put the brushes back into the robot. Running the Roomba without the bearings may permanently damage the unit. If bearings become misplaced or damaged, contact iRobot Customer Care for replacement bearings. To clean Roomba's front caster wheel, pull firmly on it to remove it from the robot. Get rid of any debris inside the wheel cavity. Remove the front caster wheel from its housing and push firmly on the axle to remove it from the wheel. Clear any hair wrapped around the axle, then wipe the wheel clean. Reinstall the wheel into its housing and place the module back into the robot. To clean Roomba's cliff sensors, wipe each of the openings with a clean, dry cloth. Clean the bin full sensors in the same way. Follow these simple maintenance procedures regularly to ensure maximum performance from your Roomba. Roomba tells you something is wrong with voice commands. The troubleshooting light also blinks. If you need to repeat Roomba's error message, press the clean button. Refer to the troubleshooting chart in the product manual to resolve Roomba's problem. For more help, visit http colon forward slash forward slash global.irobot.com. Roomba has a number of parts that can be replaced, including the drive wheels, edge cleaning side brush, cleaning head, vacuum bin, front caster wheel, and battery. To replace Roomba's parts, you will need to remove the bottom cover. First, remove the screw that holds the edge cleaning side brush and remove the brush. Then, remove the four screws holding the bottom cover and remove it. <laughs> <laughs>